Uh, back on Vulcan, Amanda brings Burnham to a nearby crypt. Inside, Burnham is horrified to find Spock, bearded and disheveled, and muttering to himself. Michael approaches him, trying to tell him that she was there, but he shows no sign of acknowledgement. Yeah, I I super feel like they should have uh, left uh, Spock in his beard, at least the first season of uh, Strange and Worlds. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I like Spock Jesus, man. <laughs> Spock <laughs> Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was an all right look, I guess. But, you know, I, I understand why they cleaned him up. Because they kind of had to make him look like he did <laughs> on the Enterprise, I guess. But Well, we've never seen him on, uh, well, except for um, the Menagerie. Uh, yeah. We've never seen him on the Enterprise prior you know, to Kirk. You know, I think they should do an episode of Strange New Worlds where everybody grows a mustache. Trying to be like Sam Kirk, you know? <laughs> there was like, hey, Sam, that's a good look. I think we're going to try it, too. <laughs> That's uh that style's coming back in the in the fashion in yeah. the real world. Yeah, I know a bunch of hipsters been working on it for like ten years now. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a beard, and I keep I keep uh, joking that I'm gonna shave off everything with the mustache, but I do not look good without a beard. I, I did it a while ago, <laughs> and I just kept the soul patch and the mustache, and I, I look so much like my dad that I can make it about two days, and then I had to shave it off. I was like, ah, <laughs> this has got to go, man. So Amanda tells Burnham that Spock has been like this for at least two days. He's mumbling a bunch of numbers to himself. That uh, Burnham recognizes the first doctrines of logic. And apparently there's been another set of numbers that Amanda doesn't quite understand. Burnham uh, insists that he needs to be taken to a hospital. If he was fully Vulcan, he would already have been completely mad from the uh, insanity going on in his head. That seems like a weird line, though, because... (sighs) yeah. It seems like it would be the other way. Like if he was fully human, he'd have been <laughs> gone crazy now. Yeah, like all the way. The, the Vulcans have the uh, the discipline in place to fight it off. You know. Yeah, that's that's why I thought that was so yeah. weird that she would say that. The racial things they do in Star Trek drive me a little crazy. The ability to breed with other species makes me batty. Um, the things they term in certain ways where, oh, this, this species has a power or what it just, it always makes me a little on edge, you know, just like, I don't think you guys ran any biology before you got started. Well, Hey man, if we were all, uh, we were obviously all seated from, uh, the same, the same thing back in the day. Why else would they look superhuman except with elf ears? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, well, because so maybe well, that's why it could be. Well, it was that episode of Next Gen, so I just, I just never cared for that episode very much. Um, because you know, we're we we share like 99% of our DNA with a banana, and so how is there room for a Vulcan to have been sprinkled in there, you know? But but I digress, <laughs> but I unless Vulcan has bananas too. Maybe um, they do. Yeah. And the, 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 you've all heard of the old Vulcan banana, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. So unless the ambassador objects, Sark replies from behind them, and they both kind of give like an oh-no face. 